Blood tests from the past two capture seasons are revealing to us that some of our cows are getting bred later than expected. So in a healthy population, cows should be getting bred in their first two estrus cycles. Typically, the main prerogative of putting out collars is so that we have marks in different subpopulations throughout the elk range. This capture season, our main prerogative is putting out collars that are associated with vaginal implant transmitters. So in the occupied elk range of about a million acres, we're looking at about 12 different unique groups of cows for this project. So if a cow is not bred in her estrus cycle, she will recycle every 21 days. So what we're finding is a portion of our cows are getting bred outside of that second estrus, so potentially in their third or fourth estrus cycles. Getting bred later means she will be having her calf later in the season. There is an ecological benefit to having calves in late May and early June. They have enough time to reach a physical fitness level that will carry them through winter time. So if we are having calves that are born outside of the prime calving season, this could affect our calf survival rate. We are trapping and darting cows ultrasounding them to see if they are pregnant, and if they are pregnant, we are deploying vaginal implant transmitters. When we ultrasound an elk, the first thing we are looking for are what are called placentomes. They form even before we would be able to see an embryo. A placentome is the placental connection between the embryo and the placental connection of the mother. So once we see those, we know that she is pregnant. After that, we will deploy a vaginal implant transmitter. So the purpose of the vaginal implant transmitter is so that we can pinpoint when cows are being bred. So we know that elk have a gestation period of about 245 days. So by putting in these transmitters, we will be told, give or take an hour or two, of when this calf is born. So when we know that calf is born, we can backdate that to pinpoint the time of conception. The vaginal implant transmitters sit against the cervix of the cow. When she has a baby, it is pushed out and it notifies us that a calf has been born. That allows us to locate the calf within the first few hours of its life, collar it, and then we're able to monitor its survival for the first year of its life. For the first six weeks of its life, we are asking the collar to throw a point once an hour. And we also ask the cow collar to do the same. What that will allow us to do is look at the mother's location and the calf's location in relationship to each other, and we will use that to investigate if maternal investment has any impact on the calf's survival.